Hey, value traders, did you see what OPEC did to the price of crude oil? Value Trades. I'm Brad Alexander, and in this week's Market Blast Fundamentals, let's take a look at gold, pound dollar, CAD yen, CAD Swiss, Brent crude, and WTI. There were rumors about the possibility of a production cut by OPEC Plus, which drove prices of WTI and Brent crude higher, along with the Canadian dollar. However, OPEC Plus held firm, but Saudi Arabia decided to cut production by 1 million per day in July, which drove prices higher. Price action peaked at resistance at 74.40, but quickly fell to $73, leaving a gap. Of course, we will take a look at this from the technical side tomorrow. By the way, UBS is predicting a $95 per barrel on Brent crude by the end of the year. As predicted, the Canadian dollar flew higher as well based on the higher price of WTI. When we see big moves like this, we like to look for technical levels for the possibility of a reversal in the future. For example, price action might reach this key level of resistance at 0.68 francs on CAD Swiss. CAD Yen is also approaching a key level of support, but be aware that we have very little confidence in Yen's strength these days. We will, however, be studying this technical opportunity tomorrow. Regarding the Yen, keep an eye on the Japanese GDP figures on Thursday, and regarding the Canadian dollar, we have an interest rate decision from the Bank of Canada, along with the PMI and employment data this week. We have lots of Euro news and an interest rate decision from the Reserve Bank of Australia on Tuesday, followed by a quarterly GDP report on Wednesday. The Australian dollar is very strong against everything except the Canadian dollar, so be prepared to trade the pullbacks tomorrow. The pound is finally starting to show some weakness, and we will be monitoring this looking for opportunities this week. The next Bank of England meeting occurs on the 22nd of June, and if there's no hint of an interest rate hike, slowdown, or a pause, GBP will go weaker still. Last week's very high non-farm payroll report drove gold lower, and we will look at this tomorrow from the technical side. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Value Trade Signals and the link will be in this video's description below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and register on the Value Trades website to get notifications on new content as it happens. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades and we will see you next time. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.